Hi, I'm Perry Young, Product Manager for Keshu Instruments. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up the Keshu Heat Stress Monitoring System. So let's begin. You'll start by attaching the AC adapter to your Keshu 5400. Slide the battery door latch and open the door. Replace with battery door attached to AC adapter. Make sure the battery door clicks fully into place. Next, open or remove the impeller cover to allow air velocity measurements. If removed, keep in storage. Plug your 5400 into an outlet for setup. Long press the power button to turn on the Keshu 5400. Press the gear button to enter the options menu. Make sure Bluetooth is set to on. Scroll to display and press the center select button. Scroll to auto shutdown and choose off. Now the Keshu 5400 will only shut down by holding down the power button. Hit the gear button until you go back to the main dashboard. Scroll to the WBGT current measurement screen and press the enter select button. Set type to indoor since we are going to be using the device to monitor and record measurements inside. To return to the main dashboard, select the gear button. Now your Keshu 5400 is ready for continuous monitoring in an indoor setting. To learn about all the monitoring and login features of your 5400 tracker, please read the user menu and check out our other videos to learn more about your device. Now we are going to set up your remote monitoring tablet. We will use the tablet to download the Keshu Link app and connect it via Bluetooth to our Keshu 5400. First, let's plug in and power on the tablet. Then you go to settings and go to network and internet. Establish an internet connection. Return to the main screen, swipe up, and select the Google Play Store app. Set up or log into a Google account. Now download the Keshu Link app, which has a blue and white icon. Open the Keshu Link app, read and scroll through the tutorial. Now connect to your Keshu device. You might have to accept prompts to allow access to Bluetooth. Hit refresh to find available Bluetooth pairing devices. Keep in mind, it might take a couple of attempts to successfully connect to your Keshu device. Once you connect your device, you might receive a prompt stating new firmware is required. It is still a good idea to check for any firmware updates when you first connect to a new Keshu 5400. To check if any updates are available, click on Settings. Click Check for Firmware Updates. Click Updates if a new firmware update is available. Now you're going to want to make sure you have the right settings enabled for continuous monitoring using our app. Once you're in the dashboard view, you want to go to the bottom right of the screen and click on Options. Go to App Preferences, Device Power Saving should be off and Continuous Monitor should be on as shown here. Now you're ready to click on the Devices icon at the bottom left of your screen to return to your Keshru Sync devices. Then click on Dashboard, use the Edit button to select what measurements you want added and removed from the dashboard view. Press the full screen icon to display live measurements in full screen mode. If connecting more than one Keshu device, switch to the multi-device dashboard. Here, you can choose the edit button to remove items from the list or change the order. Use the add button to select which measurements you want added and from which connected Keshu device. Full screen can show up to six screens at one time. To exit full screen mode, press the back button at the bottom of the screen. Now, we are going to go over selecting the best location and mounting your new hardware. Let's start with your Keshu 5400. It is important to monitor actual working conditions to determine potential mounting locations before installing the Keshu unit. Keep in mind, for accurate measurements of job site environmental conditions, it is important to install the Keshu 5400 heat stress tracker in the vicinity of the working area you should take pre-recorded measurements at the employee's workstation and make sure it matches the conditions of the desired mounting locations of the Keshru 5400 heat stress tracker. When mounting the 5400, make sure it is mounted at least three feet off the ground and no higher than seven feet to match the conditions of the people you are monitoring. Ensure the Keshru is oriented into the main source of wind or airflow in the environment Pick a spot you can easily access, as you may have to adjust settings on the unit. Use provided anchors for installation onto drywall without studs. You could also mount your 5400 using VHB or very high bondage tape. 
Connect the included K5 series clip to the wall mount and mount to your desired location. Now let's move on to installing your monitoring tablet. Make sure the tablet will be mounted in a location where it can successfully connect to the Keshu unit before installation. Data is transmitted wirelessly via Bluetooth within wireless range of 100 feet line of sight. The range will be reduced by walls and obstructions. Your Kestrel 5400 must remain within range of the connected remote monitoring tablet to trigger email and text alerts. You also want to make sure the tablet is in a location where it receives good Wi-Fi signal strength if you want cloud-based tracking. It is recommended to mount the tablet in portrait orientation as the Link app is optimized for this view. Pick a spot you can easily access as you may have to adjust settings on the unit. Use provided anchors for drywall mounting without studs. First, mount your tablet holder to the wall, add the VESA mount to your tablet, and slide over the wall mount. Some things to remember, disconnecting or loss of AC power will render your device inoperable. When changing environments, the unit requires between 8 to 15 minutes to accribulate to its surroundings before taking readings. Now that you've successfully set up and installed your Keshu heat stress monitoring system, you're ready to learn how to use it. To do so, visit keshuinstruments.com or check out our other tutorial videos.